Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator with QuivQ Software. And today we're going to demonstrate how your workflow can be used for uh, routing your ECOs in your engineering department. This is a sample of an ECO workflow. Let's dive right into EPDM. Log in, user Gino, and pick a folder to go into the vault. We're going to raise an ECO. File listing area of the vault. We'll right click, new, engineering change order, which brings up a simple form where we want to capture whatever change needs to be made. Type in a brief description and click OK. And as far as the user knows, this ECO is being generated and will be checked in and then routed to the document control manager. Expand the engineering folder. Went to the ECO subfolder. We have a new ECO. That's just been generated by Gino on 2 7 of 2014. It has a new number. Mounting holes on drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the description that we entered. We'll log out as Gino. We'll log back in as Donovan, who is in document control. You've heard the boing. That's a notification that we need to take a look at. This is the notification that we go to document control letting them know that a, an ECO has been submitted. So let's do the instruction number one, open folder. Now that we are inside EPDM, we're going to select the affected documents, which are going to be attached as references, which will show up in the Contains tab and the Bill of Materials on this ECO, so that we'll always know the status of this ECO and the drawings that it governs. Dive into Engineering. And Palmer, we're going to grab the first three documents. And from this window, since it is an Explorer window, we will right-click and get latest version. We want to ensure that we attach the latest version of the, the affected documents. And then we'll click Open. Right now it's running a brief add-in. It placed the file paths of each of the documents in here but it's also placed in the Contains tab, but that will not show up until we check the document in. Whatever fields are on the outside of the ECO document data card, they will automatically be auto-updated inside the ECO when you open it. And since we have the document checked out, we can save it. If we were to compare side by side. The approvals over here on this tab are the ones that are going to be pushed in here as the document transitions through its workflow. So now that we've updated the document contents, we'll go ahead and check that back in. Updated form fields. We'll check that in. Right click and change state, begin the ECO, send for approvals. The document is in the ECO pending routing state. That is, that is this ECO pending routing state. When he begins the ECO, it is sitting in the ECO pending approval state. When this transition is taken, the quality manufacturing and engineering groups are going to receive an email to the effect that they need to take an action to review and approve this ECO. Let's go ahead and send this for approvals. All right, so it's in the pending approval state. It's landing here. It's basically waiting here until all the signatures are collected. Let's log out and back in as, let's just start with engineering. So we know Josh is in engineering. So now we've just gotten the email notification. This is to the engineering ECO approvers. It shows that the ECO has been submitted by Gino. It gives you the number. It gives you the date and the time. It gives the engineer a quick reference guide of one, two, three, and here's the comments that are left uh, by Donovan send ECO for approvals. So we'll open folder. That will open a new window for us. And we can close that message. The engineer would take a look at the data card. If the engineer looks in the contains tab, these are the affected drawings. They can actually double click on each one of these from here, I would be able to open these files. So I'm going to right click 
on this ECO, change state, and approve it. Read comment. OK. The state of the document still says ECO pending approval. But on the approvals tab, it now says Josh's name, and it's captured today's date. So let's log out. We've handled the engineering approval. Let's go log in as someone from manufacturing. Roy is in manufacturing. It's manufacturing will review. They can go to the contains tab. They can open drawings if they need to. They can see who's made or made approvals already. And then right click, change state, approved. state of the file is still ECO pending approval because we haven't collected all the necessary approvals. So let's log out one more time and log in as someone from quality. We know Tom's in quality. So far we've handled the engineering approval, manufacturing approval. Now we're going to handle the approval quality. So quality would log in, they would review the ECO, they could open the document, look at the contains tab, review whatever documents are here. And we don't have to necessarily just attach SOLIDWORKS files. We could also attach PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, JPEGs, or other, other meaningful documentation. And then when they're done reviewing, right click, change state, approved. The ECO drops out of the pending approval state and into the ECO in work state, and then the engineer receives communication that they need to take action to make whatever edits are on the ECO because those would be typed up inside the body of the document. Then if we look at the approvals tab, we see Josh, Roy, Roy, and Tom have all made their approvals, and it's all captured on today's date. And then whenever the work is done, the ECO is sitting here, we would then close out the ECO. So let's log back out. Let's just say that we're going to be an engineer. Be Josh would be the one to do the work. Let's say we're a small department. So that, let's say we're Josh. We've done whatever work needs to be done on the affected documents, these three documents. We've gone to wherever these live and we've checked them out. We've made changes to them. Now we're ready to wrap up the ECO. So we would right click on it, change state, close the ECO. And that would show the state of the ECO being in the closed state now. And as one last final check, we can open the Word document and see that all of the values from the data card are pushed in, especially the approvals, whatever additional information has been recorded. So we have all the information that's come from the data card along with the approvals and the dates. This is a very simplified workflow, but it does show the functional concept of having your ECO documentation with, a, with reference documents attached and then walking through the... So that wraps up the demonstration of the ECO workflow in Enterprise PDM. Again, this is Tim Webb, Certified EPDM Administrator with EquipQ Software. Thanks for watching.